All right, let's look at another inequality. This is solving a polynomial inequality. Uh, x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x is less than 0. So here what we want to do is we're, we're, we will remember the procedure for solving a polynomial inequality, and that's to get everything on one side, and we already have that. We've got 0 on the other side. And now we'll want to factor this polynomial. Uh, this polynomial can be factored. Each term has a common factor of x, so we can pull that out first. So we'll take an x out of the first term here. We'll be left with x squared. And then we take an x out of the 3x squared, so plus 3x. And then an x out of the 2, so plus 2. All right, less than 0. All right, and now we'll factor this quadratic um, if we can. Uh, let's see, x squared plus 3x plus 2, this factors. We've got x, x, plus 2, plus 1. Let's just check to make sure that that's the right factorization. x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. 2 times x is 2x. 1x and 2x makes 3x. And 2 times 1 is 2, so that's the right factorization. All right, uh, and now we'll go ahead and find the, uh, the zeros of this polynomial uh, function. We'll treat it like a function. So we've got x equals 0, negative 2, and negative 1. So the zeros. All right, and now what we'll do is we'll set up the number line uh, with these three values. So we'll have a number line, a minus 2 over here on the left, negative 1, and 0. All right, now this splits the real line into four intervals. The interval from negative infinity to negative 2, from negative 2 to negative 1, negative 1 to 0, and 0 to infinity. And now what we'll want to do is test a value in each interval into the original inequality. So let's start over here into this interval. We need to test a number less than negative 2. Let's do negative 3. All right, so I'll plug that in here. We have negative 3 cubed plus 3 times negative 3 squared plus 2 times negative 3 and we're asking is that less than 0? Alright, so we have negative 3 cubed that is negative 27 and then we have 3 times negative 3 squared negative 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27 and then we have 2 times negative 3 so negative 6 less than 0. Negative 27 plus 27 is 0, so negative 6 is less than 0. That is true. And that means we include this interval. All right, so now we want to pick uh, a test value between negative 2 and negative 1. Uh, let's choose a negative uh, 3 quarters. All right, so we want negative 3 quarters, uh, I'm sorry, 3 halves. Negative 3 halves cubed plus 3 times negative 3 halves squared plus 2 times negative 3 halves. And we're asking, is that less than 0? So we have uh, 3 squared is 27 over 8. Here we have plus, and we'll have 27 over 4, and then here we have negative so 6, no, negative 3. All right, um, let's convert everything to eighths. So we have negative 27 eighths plus 54 eighths minus 24 eighths. And it looks like we have, um, 
looks like negative 51 eighths. So 54 eighths minus 51 eighths gives us 3 eighths. And is 3 eighths less than 0? No. So this is false. And that means we would throw out this interval. OK. Uh, now we'll test a value between negative 1 and 0, say negative 1 half. So we have negative 1 half cubed plus 3 times negative 1 half squared plus 2 times negative 1 half. Is that less than 0? So we have negative 1 eighth. Uh, minus 3 eighths minus 1 less than 0. Um, actually, this is going to be plus, right? Because we've got negative 1 half squared. All right, so we've got, um, let's see, negative 1 eighths uh, plus 3 quarters. Uh, let's just convert everything to eighths. So one eighth plus six eighths plus minus, sorry, eight eighths plus zero. So we'll have um, negative nine eighths plus six eighths. That's negative three eighths plus zero. That's true. So we'll include this interval. And we need to test one more point. Um, we need to test a number between 0 and infinity. We'll just say 1. Uh, we can just squeeze that in right here somewhere. <laughs> Let's see. Um, we'll say 1. So we have 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 squared plus 2. Is that less than 0? Well, all those numbers are positive. And so if we add them together, we'll get a number that's positive. So we have to throw this interval out. All right. And so the solution to this inequality will be the interval negative infinity to negative 2, parentheses, because we have a strict inequality, union negative 1 to 0, in parentheses.